Hey guys, X Shine here, and today is gonna be my Raksha guide. Uh, the boss is actually pretty fun. I was, you know, testing things and making sure that, you know, seeing the best way to learn it. And I think the best way to learn it actually is to camp Soul Split and use a Defender. And range might be a bit better, but I use Mage, so I I just you know use Mage. Uh, so for gear, uh, we use Dark Magic Aura. You can get it from the PVM hub. It's probably the one of the best auras at this boss. Uh, full elite tectonic top legs and robe legs. If you don't have this, you can use you know Virtus and it'll do fine. Uh, even superior zerials or something like that. Uh, glove slot, death touch bracelet. You can also really use like like the minion gloves, but he's not poisonable, so that's why I take these. Uh, max cape, just you can take a killing cape, it works fine. Uh, the most important thing this is one of the most important thing is the essence of finality amulet, and it has a Gothic Staff spec in it. You, the Gothic Staff is insane damage and it's instant cast, so you don't have to channel it. This is definitely, I you definitely need this amulet, honestly, to really make this work. I mean, Amulet of Souls can maybe work, but again, you you won't have the G Staff, so again, I highly recommend getting this amulet. It's just so good. Uh, Blast Typhusion Fusion Boots. You don't really need these boots. You can just use like Subjugation Boots, honestly, because I don't really detonate that much at this fight, if at all, really. It's really optional, so I just pray take them just because. Uh, Ring of Death, really good ring. Uh, it gives you a lot of adrenaline for all the little uh, things you kill. And, you know, if you die, it's a cheap death. Uh, Ruin Pouch with Air, Chaos, and Soul Runes for debuffing. Uh, and a wand. I have a wand of appraisal with perks in it. After Precise, precise 6, Aftershock 1. Uh, you can use a Seismic Wand, it'll do fine as well. And a this is one of the most important things too. Augmented Calphite Rebounder. Uh, you can potentially get away with, like, you know... Uh, a lower tier defender uh, rebounder, but yeah, I would highly recommend getting it because this thing is really good for learning bosses in general. And my uh, scrimshaw slot is a superior scrimshaw of elements. You can use a regular scrimshaw, but I do my port, so that's why I use a superior scrimshaw. Now, inventory uh, luck of the dwarves, uh, you cannot take this until you get a kill, but it's for the end of the kill. I like taking adrenaline urn just because it stays on. You know, so you don't have to like, oh, I gotta use an ability. It's just really nice quality of life. Uh, body runes to cast Enfeeble. Uh, I want the Cyber Elders to cast Planet of Feet. Uh, if you don't have Planet of Feet, I mean, it's, Planet of Feet is really good. I would highly recommend getting it. Uh, I would take three restores. You probably only need two or one, you know, two, but later on one. But three is just in case. Uh, some brews, uh, you know, in case you need them. Uh, Dreadnips are really good here. I can recommend using those. Excalibur is also really good. Uh, Ring of Vigor is really good for ulting with the Cyware. I use Elder Elder Overload Salves. Uh, it is the best overload you have. Uh, Adrenaline Renewal Flasks. If you don't have that, just use like you know regular Adrenaline Potion. It's a bunch of Sailfish. And my Mammoth is full of a bunch of Sailfish. We're not using a Ripper just because I'm making this guide to learn the boss. You know, and really make it a relaxing experience and use defensives. Okay. So... I'm already bonfired in Ooglog, so we're going to head there now. And uh, the portal is actually the this portal just because it's the newest boss. So we're going to make sure we get 100% of Dren here. Make sure it earns on. It should be a little, show a little debuff here. And we can go in. Uh, it doesn't matter if you set it to duo or what single player. Just start. So... Right off the bat, before you start the kill, make sure you have your prayer on. You can put on Soul Split and Affliction. And, well, before that, before I really get into the kill, the most important abilities we're going to be using in this fight are Freedom, Anticipate, Resonance, Debil, and Reflect. Those are the key abilities we're going to be using this whole fight. So, if you need those on like another bar, do that. Just remember, those are the only abilities... In the defensive tree we're going to be using you can maybe use Kate, but i probably won't even be using that okay so we're gonna put a soul split we're gonna activate the scrim shot and we'll overload and then we'll start the fight right now go right here and we can go sunshine attack the boss and cast volan cast oh sorry Ca cast volan and enfeeble i won't go around with that just attack him so when he gets you at about half resonance Tank that. After four attacks, he'll do his tail whip and just walk back after. And just keep that DPS him. Debil after. 
anticipate and just keep the EPS him. Wild well, magic, G staff, G staff spamming is really good. So he's so now he's sending his meteor, just walk away. It stuns you, but we're fine. We're gonna have resonance here as well. Into a reflect. And we're gonna start killing these anima eruptions now. Since our sunshine's up. You don't want these as last. Okay, so he actually charged there because I was away. I didn't mean for that to happen. Typically he just does a nail another tail whip. Again, just keep on DPS him. We're gonna kill these anima eruptions and take our time. Debill him again. And just keep DPS him. Now watch out for these rocks. If you need to run away, run away really far. Just just walk away. Don't worry about DPS him. Just run. Look, I'm not even gonna DPS now. So these eruptions spawn. You want to cast Reflect and start attacking these, uh, you know, chain it here, you know, just, just cast anything. They die in like one hit. So I'm just going to attack each one, kill them all. Then cast Resonance to get that heal, eat up, you have plenty of food. Oh, that was a bad res, it's fine though. Now we get, we got to start Sunshine and DPSing this guy. And after the Sunshine, I'm going to in, Volum, Enfeeble, and just keep attacking. I'm going to also uh, anticipate right now and just keep DPSing. After four attacks, he's going to start that Tail Whip attack in a second. Just keep eating. Here comes the Tail Whip attack. Run back. You can walk back if you want. In the Resonance. Let's kill the Eruptions. Whenever he says don't, don't make him absorb it, that's when they spawn. So you want to be sure to kill those off. We're going to debil him again. And to, oh, you want to feed him? Feed him right now. And there's going to be three bombs this time. Just run away from them. Just, just keep running. Just keep running. Don't worry about DPSing. We're going to reflect now. Okay, take some food out of your yak. He's going to do a tail whip in a second. No, he's actually going to do this other attack. Oh, he did a tail whip. Again, he does it every four attacks, but there's plenty of time as long as he has your cursor in the back. He spawned him again. He just talked again. Residence, whenever. We're going to build the dinosaur as well. Kill these eruption pools. Back on the boss. Keep on G-staffing him. He's phased. Now just, again, just dodge him. We're gonna eat up the full. Just gonna run away. Just run away. Just just chill out. We're gonna attack these shadow pools. We're gonna also reflect now. Just cast some kind of defensive. We're gonna search across the map and it's Dragon Breath of Middle One to attack all of them. You just wanna kill his minion right away. It just does a lot of damage if you leave it up. Once that's dead, we're going to also now start the sunshine. Click on these orbs when this happens, and it won't damage you. There's, there, it scales with the how much enrage he has. However, he has zero, so there's only two. We're going to res here. Then we're going to debil. Enfeeble him now to 10% less damage. Oh, we're going to feed him. Feed him right now. I forgot. After four attacks. He's going to send those bombardment of bombs. There's three. Let's keep running. We're going to reflect here. Keep eating the food. I haven't eaten my bruise yet. Let's keep attacking. Eat up if you need to. We're going to res this. Ooh, not that. We're going to walk away from that. Every, just remember, it's every four attacks. So again, kill, these, kill this lizard thing that's, that's crawling after us. We're going to cast reflect here. We're going to kill these shadow pools. We're going to anticipate as well, just for some damage reduction. Attack the boss. Click on these orbs. It doesn't cancel channels, so don't worry about that. Now he's going to be phased at 200k. So this part, I'm, I'm going to fully debuff him. I'm going to Voln and Enfeeble. And I have a one core on, so it's very easy. Voln, Enfeeble. And we're going to sunshine right here. You want to stand right on this exact square and just eat up. Now, after two attacks, you want to walk back. Watch. Walk back as soon as he does this. And you need to walk back. It's very important to do this. Just keep attacking him. Eat up in, in, in residence. I'm going to res right here. Walk back after two attacks. Walk two squares back. So he did that. I'm going to walk right back and attack him. Now, this part, make sure you have, you have your thresholds ready. We're going to charge a Denny. Denny and Conk. So now he releases anima things around. We're going to get them in a second. We're going to debil here. 
walk away to back to. Okay, so now we're gonna run around, reflect, and anticipate. And we need to grab these animals. This you need to be three squares near it. Keep running. He's gonna send a meteor down. We're gonna also feed him here for more uh, stun resistance. We just want to get all this animal eruption. Wait for this meteor to fall down. Then walk back here. Activate your ultimate ability. It's a little special part. He's gonna do his tail whip now. Walk back. Now all you need to do is just keep on DPSing him and until he dies. We also we have plus 150% damage. The bill, if you need to, camp those defensives. Two squares back, right here. We're gonna reflect here. We're gonna debuff him again. Bone and feeble. Attack. Let's keep attacking. So, ne next attack, he's gonna actually do that charge attack. So, make sure you have your thresholds ready for it. We're going to charge a detonate again. Detonate. And wild magic. It broke again. So if you want, we can also now start uh, anticipate and debilitate and grab some crystals again. Well, they're anima. So wait for this orb thing to fall from the sky. Go back here. Activate your ultimate. Attack them. Reflect if you need to. to camp those defensives. Walk back. Attack them. Put your luck of dwarves on. Just keep DPS him. I'm gonna residence, play it safe, eat up if you need to. And he's dead. Yeah, and it's really relaxing with the defender because using defensives is really painful if you have to switch. However, a defender allows you to use those defensives and still maintain good damage. The cavalry rebounder is a very good tool to use when learning bosses. And let's look at how I did my yak. I have a whole yak, I ate seven pieces out of my yak. I didn't touch any of my brews. And I, I was taking my time too. If you noticed, I, I wasn't DPSing him on purpose sometimes just because like, I'm trying to make a realistic scenario. I was Another important thing to note is I was spamming Guthic Staff a lot. Like, you don't even need to cast a Fixate. Just focus on Wild Magic, D Dragon Breath, Combust, Corruption, and Guthic Staff. And, you know, ch save your Chains and Corruption slash Deep Breath for the, the Eruptions and just take your time. As long as you take the fight slow, there will be no in range. This was a seven minute kill time. Uh, my personal best, uh, like I don't do this, but you know, I have a 358, that's pretty good. So you can definitely get under six minute kills with enough practice. And if you start, you know, uh, stunning more and perhaps using, you know, an, an, you know, an offhand, not a defender. So I hope you enjoyed this guide. Uh, if you, I might make a, another guide showing how I actually do it with, um, you know, my, what should I call it? You know, I usually staff camp, and I switch to a shield, or I don't really use the shield that much. I actually just the bill and you know prayer flick a little bit. So I might make that later. Uh, funny enough too, I didn't actually activate my stream shot. So you know what? That's a more realistic scenario, guys. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I really hope you. I, I find the boss pretty fun. I, ho I hope you guys uh, get some good kills. And uh, yeah, I definitely recommend. Again, key thing: a good wand. A, def a cow fight rebounder and this amulet. This amulet is key. Okay, so yeah, uh, tell me what you thought. Bye, everyone.